which is the best B.Tech college in Hyderabad. Most of you without any second thought will say IIT Hyderabad and it indeed is the best in Hyderabad. But what about other top B.Tech colleges of Hyderabad? IIT Hyderabad is in its own league and comparing it with the rest would be unfair. So today we will do a comparative analysis of the top B.Tech colleges of Hyderabad through parameters such as NIRF rank, placements, affordability and admission difficulty level. So we have taken the best B.Tech colleges in Hyderabad like International Institute of Information Technology, Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, VNR Vignana Jyoti Institute of Engineering and Technology, University College of Engineering and Anurag University for today's video. All these colleges are top ranked B.Tech colleges in Hyderabad on NIRF's 2022 list. As per NIRF rankings, IIIT is the best with a rank of 62, second best is JNTU with 76th rank. VNR VJIET is on 113 rank, UCEOU is on 117 rank and AU is on 140th spot. In terms of placement as well, IIIT scores well as the highest salary package here is around 74 lakh per annum in 2022 and the average salary package is around 32 lakh per annum. In JNTU, the highest salary package went up to Rs 50 lakh per annum, while the average hovered around 10 lakh per annum. In VNR VJIET, the highest salary package was of Rs 25 lakh per annum, while the average was around 7 lakh rupees per annum. In UCEOU, the highest salary package hovered around 22 lakh rupees per annum, and the average was of Rs 8 lakh per annum. In EU, the highest was 38 lakh rupees per annum, while the average was 7 lakh rupees per annum. So, in terms of placement, Triple IT scores the best, JNTU is second, UCEOU is third, and the fourth spot is a tie between VNR, VJ, IET, and AU. As you know, there are many B.Tech specializations where the course duration ranges from 3 years to 5 years. But for our comparison now, we have taken only 4 year B.Tech courses for calculating their average tuition fee. If we check the affordability ranking, then the best affordable college is UCEOU, where the average tuition fee is around Rs 2.25 lakh. Second on the list is JNTU with an average tuition fee of around Rs 3.8 lakh. AU comes on third with an average fee of Rs 5 lakh. Fourth on the list is VNR VJIET with an average of 5.24 lakh tuition fees. Last on the list is IIIT with an average tuition fee of Rs 11.6 lakh. Now let's take a look at the cutoffs of 2022 in computer science engineering in all these colleges. Apart from IIIT, all other colleges take admission on the basis of TSEAM CET cutoffs. So we have ranked these colleges on the basis of difficulty level of JEE main and TSEAM CET accordingly. In 2022, the first round closing rank in IIIT was 1398. So we have given it the first position on the admission difficulty level as JEE main is considered to be tougher than TSEAM CET. Second on the list is UCEU where the TSEAM CET cutoff was 669 with a cutoff of 1175 VNR VJIET stands third. Fourth college on our list of admission difficulty level is JNTU with a cutoff of 18917. Clearly there is a huge gap between the top three colleges and the fourth college on the list. And we have put AU on the last spot in the list due to the unavailability of its cutoff. Now let's compare all these colleges on the various parameters like NR rank, placement rankings, affordability rankings and admission difficulty level. So as we see the table, the title of the top B.Tech college in Hyderabad goes to IIIT Hyderabad as it scores the best in NIR ranking, placement ranking, admission difficulty level while it is the lowest in affordability. Second on the list is JNTU as in terms of NIR rankings it was on the second spot, in placements it was on the second spot, in affordability as well it was on the second spot while in admission difficulty level it was on the fourth. Third on the list is UCEOU as it scored well in affordability and admission difficulty level while in terms of placement it was on the third spot and in NRF ranking it was on the fourth spot. Anurag University seems to be lagging behind from the rest in almost all aspects and that is the reason it is the last on Shiksha.com's final scorecard. So how did you find this review? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below and please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.